children of Israel, today we are going to get some information on the unicorn quilt. Let a secret hidden from us with this quilt. So let's begin. In 1922, John D. Rockefeller Jr. purchased six of the seven quilts, six of the seven unicorn quilts for one million US dollars. This is in 1922. Because of inflation, today that would be worth almost $26 million. He later purchased from Conk Gabriel de la Rucci Foucauld the seventh unicorn quilt for an undisclosed amount of money. And this is in 1922. These quilts are now gifted to the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Brothers and sisters, let's begin with our history the children of Israel in Al Kibulanwa, which is called today Africa. So these quilts are hung in this museum. It's called the Unicorn Quilts or Tapestries. The unif Unicorn Quilts or Tapestries This talks about our history, which has been hidden by the Rockefellers. But now it's in the museum. So they are now hung in the Queen's Chambers, the Royal Chapel in Stirling Castle. Let's begin These are the colonizers. The colonizers have their spears they have their swords, they have their dogs. They are in the forest, Al Kibulanwa, which you all call today Africa, named after a white man named Scipio Africanus. So they are hunting us searching for us in Al Kibulanwa. See the dogs, the spears, men and women. So they are armed and they are searching.
These are two of the hunting dogs. As you see next to it, this is a water fountain. They are by a water fountain. And they look in a relaxed mode. Whatever they were looking for, that's our ancestors in Alkibulanwa. They found them. So the dogs are like in a relaxed mode. They are not hunting anymore. These are all made out of quilt. The unicorn is found by the water fountain. Now, you have to be careful with words. The water fountain really should be a river. Because in the forest, there won't be any water fountain in the forest. It's going to be a stream, a pond, a river. As you look closely, it has to be a river because over here, you got a lion. Over here, you got a monkey. Right? A gazelle, and here you have birds, different kind of birds, and this unicorn represents us, the children of Israel. David Rockefeller paid over twenty-five million dollars when they calculate inflation. So in 1922, he paid a million dollars for six quilts. Equivalent to that, uh, almost 25 million. And then he bought the seven quilt from, from another aristocrat for an undisclosed amount of money. So they found us, they caught us, drinking water, chilling, minding our own business. So what do the colonizers do as they see us? They're talking among themselves. Talking among themselves. Now look there. They have their spears. Notice all the animals are gone. Except the dogs which came with them. They are confronting the unicorn, they are confronting us with their weapons. See, they have their weapons, their dogs. Doesn't that look familiar? Using their dogs to hunt us down, using their weapons to destroy us, to kill us, to capture us. And this was hidden. These tapestries, these quilts were hidden. So they found us in Al Kibulanwa, what do you call Africa today? They capture us with their weapons. Right? So they have their spears, they have their dogs, their spears, their dogs, their spears already stuck. See?
we are fighting back, but we don't have their firepower to match them. So the dogs the unicorn is fighting back. You got one of the dogs. But there's too many of them. Remember we are fighting against the leopard, the Grecians. We are fighting against the bear, the Russians. We are fighting against the lion, which is, which is England, the British. This photo we've been captured see the hole in the range see the dogs cause we've been captured some of us been captured some of us are killed Look closely here. The unicorn is dead. And it's on top of a horse. And you see the dogs are still biting. Look the sword. Trust true. The unicorn trust true us. So we are fighting against Rome, Greece. Russia, England, America, the Eagle, Germany, France, Italy, so once again, captured here, on an over a horse, Spear, dogs. It's a closer version. I enlarge the picture so you can see. The spear, the sword, the spear, the dogs, so this represents us, so it's not really the unicorn, it's about us, the children of Israel. And this is interpreted by me, the black prophet, by the grace of Yahweh. Same enlarged picture. Isn't this what's going on today? They capture us and they kill us. They use their dogs during slavery. Their secret weapon, the white woman that is used, you know how some of these black men love the white woman. See this guy in the background with a sword, have the white woman here, have the dog. This here is the sorcerer, and if you look closely, that's us under his feet. 
That's the unicorn under the sorcerer's feet. Witchcraft, you see the hat? They use the witchcraft. Their symbols. Their triangles. Their pyramids. The Illuminati, the Masons. The wizards. The witches. The television. The music. The magazines. The white women. They use all that to keep us under a spell. And the last one, imprisoned. Imprisoned. Under a spell and imprisoned. You notice both pictures in one. The wizard with his witchcraft have us under his feet and here we in prison. But we are at the end of the world of magic. So brothers and sisters, children of Israel, obey the commandments, laws and statutes. Obey the commandments, laws, and statutes. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal. Obey Yah, our Creator, with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, all your strength, and worship Him only, Abba Yah. Do not covet your neighbor's wife. Do not covet your neighbor's goods. Humble yourself and obey the commandments. Obey the commandments and live to escape the second Babylonian captivity. Obey the commandments and live. Okay, brothers and sisters. So I especially going to leave with this one. With us in captivity right now. In second Babylonian. Peace out.